Hi, today I'm going to be giving you guys a tutorial on how I do my editing as such. Um, many people have asked me to do this, so I was going to... First off, I usually start off with doing the hair, using the um, magic wand tool to select all the parts of the hair to make sure that I have everything in place, including the lines. Also, while I do this, I will probably be answering some of the uh, comment section that I get a lot, so I hope you guys enjoy. First off, I use a specialized brush to create a sort of uh, pattern with the hair. So you have like a sort of normal, realistic sort of hair basis where all the hair goes into the middle of middle part of a person's head, like uh, center parting, I think it's called. One comment I get asked a lot is, will I do a part two of the uh, party reacts to Will? Yes, I'm pretty sure I will. Um, though I do like to do some of these things beforehand to create a sort of uh, d different things. You have like a break and stuff before you do the next one. As you can see, I'm doing absolutely terrible and making this parting. It's great. Life is great. So essentially what I wanted to do here, or what I always do here, is that I create little lines due to the fact that you have like, you know, one of those tiny lines you have coming out of your hair to make it a bit more realistic. So I have the natural hair uh, color I used at the start. And then about around now, I go to a lighter one to create a bit more of a shading sort of way of the hair. I like to do that a lot. And then I usually go to a darker part as well to create the undertone. God, artists are going to come right for me for this because I know absolutely no, um, what's it called? Like specific names for things. I usually use these small things to create little details in the hair. Um, uh, so another question I get is, who is this Sam Woodend? How did you create this character? I sort of base this character a lot on, uh, like what Will wants. This guy, he's like he loves D and D. He he absolutely adores it, and he doesn't exactly. He loves drawing a lot. And the bat, the part where I, lo you'll see later with his firepower because this video would already come out. Um, it's got a like against the mind flare because the mind flare hates the cold and stuff. So y yeah, I chose. Uh, I sort of like went for a uh, sort of country boy. He's he's kind of he's really relaxed most of the time, but he'll get really angry if you get like an with his family or his friends and stuff like that. At around about, uh, so I was just finishing up with the lines now and I'm going on to another specialized brush. Also, I do a lot of different layers because I don't want them to get smushed when I uh, combine them. This uh, brush essentially uses, you, you create like a big open area to create the uh, shading and stuff like that. Honestly, I don't so know. So while I'm doing do that, that I got a question from another person this says uh what are your pronouns my pronouns are uh they them or he him i am um, yeah i am transgender uh yeah so as i'm currently doing on here since uh being a uh, little note if your thing looks a bit too like uh like how do you say it like staggered use the uh smudge brush it usually makes it a bit more flowy <laughs> is that a word flowy Anyway, after that, um, I use a... So I'm just still smudging it just to make sure it's perfect because that's how I am. You know what I mean? And then, essentially, I use... The next thing I'm going to be doing is going really light with my uh, thing and go back to the uh, strand to do this. I've been doing this with his hair part down there the whole time due to the fact that I wanted his hair to have a more fiery sort of aspect in the bottom part. I wanted, really wanted someone to notice, but obviously they hadn't. But it was fine, honestly. It was fine. It wasn't exactly like you had to know, you know. So after this, I uh, this is like my favorite, favorite part of doing the hair. It's essentially where you get a lighter brush, you use the hair thing, and you create. And I'm just doing another layer for it as well. You create a um, light tone and stuff. So you'll see now I'm drawing that, and it goes across. I did it way too big on the first part, obviously, because. You don't get everything perfect. That is way too big. It looks like a flipping crown. Um, so yeah, once you do that, you fill the whole thing in and stuff, and you get a nice like little thing. Now, as you can, now with this, I do. Uh, it takes a while for me, because I'm not very. Like it took a while to find this out, but I like as soon as I started using this part, I was like, oh my god, I love it. 
and like you could probably try this just recommend you doing it with the uh magic wand thing so now you use the smudge tool and you go down and there we go you get a really nice like sort of glaze on the hair i also use the uh erase quickly just to get rid of a few bits because it was like really um big and i didn't want it that large so then you smudge that and you get a really nice glaze on the hair and it makes it look so, oh it makes it look mm, mm. <laughs> and then i uh, i don't usually do this this is the first time i tried this i was going to do it for the little hair so uh i was i suddenly had that idea now i was like right let's try this and i was like oh my god i love this so while i'm doing that another question i got uh i think yesterday actually is how old were you when you wanted to start this channel i was actually 12 years old i am currently 15 uh, i was 12 years old when i wanted to start a channel but i wasn't old enough in my family's perspective to start anything like that so i had to wait a few years and stuff um but it was worth it i've had this channel for a year i think a year i think like a year year and a half something like that i now by the way like sort of blurred this part make it oh god sorry um make it a bit i had to like delete a part of it just to make it a bit more like seeable from the other specs just to make it a bit more nicer and relaxed um this is getting a bit long so i'm gonna speed this up a bit so um i got another one what fandom so what is your favorite fandom uh I don't have a favourite, honestly. I love Stranger Things. I also love Sonic the Hedgehog. I've always been a fan of that fandom. Um, Harry Potter, Percy Jackson, a lot of that. I like Undertale. I have tons, honestly. Like I'm not a part of one fandom, because I'm never a part of one. But if I had to say I had to pick one fandom to stay with forever, I suppose it'd have to be Stranger Things, because I had... Mm, Will Byers is... Mm you know and yeah yeah I, I suppose if i had to pick one strange things you know anyway back to my thing which i'm obviously i have no idea what i'm doing i think i'm trying to create a fire sort of asset with the hair it didn't exactly go as planned so i'm just going to really quickly do it really fast with this So anyway, um, I hope you guys have had a really good day. Like, uh, now that we've finished Sam, Sam's hair, I'll say Sam, um, Sammy's or Sam Wells' hair, uh, just finishing up with the, uh, what's it called, hair strands all around his hair. This is about my favourite part. What I do with Sam is I uh, do a little bomb, sort of like, you know, one of those fuses with his hair, because like, he's a bit of a uh, spark and stuff, so I was trying to get that sort of aspect with the top of his like i think i don't remember what they're called agoys agoy whatever it's called and like you get a little aspect of like a sort of lighting the spark and stuff i was now just finishing up with some uh things and then i'm going and then i'm just doing the exact same thing after this with will's hair and stuff um yeah so now i'm just combining all of the hairs together hair parts with sam and i'm moving on to will so I'm just going to skip a bit of this. I'm going to go a bit faster with this due to the fact that we've already seen what we're doing with this. It's just Will now. So another question I get asked a lot is, uh, when did you start watching Stranger Things or something? I got asked this a few days ago. I actually started watching Stranger Things around a year ago with my parents. Well, not my parents, my, mostly my mum. She also was like, Fine, is that, is he, I found this, should we watch it? And I was like, so I was like, hmm. And I was like, at the end, Yes. I adore it so much. You have no idea how much I adore Stranger Things. Um, another question is, uh, what is your sexuality? Oh, uh, my sexuality currently is bisexual or pansexual. I'm still a bit debating on that, but mostly I think I'm probably bi. Um, and yes. Uh, now I'm going on to, I'm just finishing up Will's hair with his, uh, little dangly parts and stuff. Up here is my favourite part to do as usual, to create a little heart thing on the top to show, because I've been doing this with uh, things a bit to make it like, a bit, like, different, to show the love for each other and stuff. Um, just waiting for myself to finish this. 
and stuff and then I'll be moving on to the facial parts of the person as such with their eye not the eyes the uh sort of eyelid plate eye is that what they called eyelids oh geez and um sorry I just had lunch <laughs> uh yeah uh i'm just trying to figure out what i'm doing um so at the moment what you do with this is i create a sort of acid sort of thing with this i love what i do with this so you think you smudge it all together and then what you do is that you put holes into it to create a sort of effect down with it so you smudge and then just dot 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 and then you can see as the effect comes into play when you go over away i just think it look really cool and as the thing, I do different colours with different people. Sam and Will, they both get green. Sometimes I do green all the around. I like to do, I think I remember doing 11 with red or purple. I can't remember which one it was. Um, but I don't like to, I, I usually have a certain colour for each character and their relationship and sort of status. Um, if you can figure it out, well done. It's actually very complicated how I do it. Now at the moment, I'm doing Will Byer's mouth. Um... I decided just to go for just using regular pen and just try and smudge the middle part so I can create like a little uh, opening gap. I realized this was too thick of a mouth, so I tried to do a little thinner. And I was like, okay, this one's nice. So I did that, smudged it. There we go. And then I tried to make it a bit bigger due to the fact I thought it would be lost when I do the shading. As it that does happen sometimes where it looks like I have the person has no mouth, which is not exactly the best thing to have honestly um so yeah i am now currently doing will's mouth and then uh what were we going to I remember what it was I did. so now once we've done the facial features i combine the face just checking it looks good together and then i combine the facial features together mouth and uh eye thing and then we move on to i was trying so this is the part where i was trying to do a flame later i realized i'm just going to do it in procreate so i'm just going to really like just go ahead with this Hold on. This is the moment I realized I am currently now doing, um, so this is essentially how I do my shading. I combine all the things together. I'm getting rid of any, uh, leftovers and then I do it so it doesn't go on the outside and stuff. And then I make sure it's darker. So it's like a shadow, and then I delete the shadow, making it look like it's natural shading with the person's thing. And then I do the hair. The lighter the hair, the better it looks. Um, like any with any color and anything, clothing, eyes, anything. Little tip for you: recommend doing as light as possible, blondes and stuff. Because if you can see the difference here compared to its trousers, like it's compared to the top, then the trousers. Um, you'll see in a minute, like with the, I just go random with the hands, make random with the hands because usually you, you just go for it. So as you can see, just doing the rest of the face, as you can see here, it looks so much different due to the fact that it's, uh, it was a darker blue and that was lighter. Um, I'm just finishing up with Will's clothing and then I'll move on with Sam's hair and Sam's clothes. So with, look, as you can see with Sam's hair, it's immediate instead of Will's, as Will's you couldn't really see and stuff, but yeah. Uh, make sure to leave some things with it. Uh, I recommend using the like sixty percent, uh, sort of air thing on uh, eyebrows paint, as it's really good because you can like easily uh get rid of things without getting rid of it. Holy, is that like a way? Holy, yeah. Now I do the uh necklaces. The necklace is sort of a really good symbolizing for Sam. Not telling you why, um, and stuff, and then. Uh, we're just really finishing up with Sam's hair and Sam's boots. I love his boots, honestly. I would die to have those boots. And then we are into the phase where I try very hard to do some fire. But of course, I am awful at art. So just wait, I will be back. I have returned. That was me around spending 20 minutes trying to find like an art thing for fire. Did not work. So I just decided to do the background uh, shading part and stuff with the 60 thing, 60% thing, uh, doing the bottom and stuff, and then you combine them all together, and then, and this is when I realised I forgot to do Sam's eyes, his fire eyes, because that's one of my favourite things to do, was to do, so I essentially, I did red particles behind, like pink particles, and then a red particle to create a little fiery effect, 
and then I did a spot of blue um as I remember seeing like in something blue there was like a part of blue in uh, like fire and stuff and then I combine them all together go into the effects and choose parallel I think this is gradation and then I save that as a photo now I'm just going to go back to Cape Cut I'm going to go back to not Cape Cut uh Procreate so I'll see you there I am now in Procreate and this is where I'm going to try to do different things to do the fire I uh, eventually I did choose to use the I think it's the f yes light pen I'm going to be using the light pen. I tried to do different things, but essentially I tried the flame, and I was like, nah, never mind. I'm going to use the flare, because I thought it looked... And he just reminded me a lot, like, this power reminded me a lot of, like, Bakugos and stuff. And I tried the different things, and then I thought, let's try to do each fingertip and stuff, and try to add some little sparks. And then what I'm going to do is smudge them all together to create the fiery effect now i'm on to cat cut now this is what i've been seen and asked about a lot is how i create those movements on cake cut because there's no um like movement tool so essentially what i'm doing here is changing it to the six by one by 16 thing and then choosing the shake effect um then exploiting it the shake effect and then you go on to the recent this is what i use like the recent video that i had been doing because i do the uh part first part just like as you can see not completed and then i add them both together i then uh make them all one by 16 and change them back to sorry 16 by 9 and then i cut it i exploit the sound cut keep it together then use the stabilizing tool to uh most recommend most recommended and as the shake is together it goes together so this is what it looks like and yeah, hope you guys enjoyed.